Peña Palace is something even Disney could only dream of. It is one of the most spectacular palaces in the world, as well as one of Europe's most eclectic structures. It was built in 1840 over an old monastery, which was incorporated into the structure, and it resembles a fairy tale castle. Thousands of tourists are naturally drawn to such a magnificent monument. Welcome to Planet Lux, and in this video we'll take a look inside the Peña Palace. Curious to know? Let's find out. Sintra's Peña Palace is a romanticist castle that is located on a hill above the town of Sintra, and can be seen from Lisbon on a clear day. Every year, thousands of visitors flock to the National Monument, which is known for its architectural features and vast forested park. The site of Peña Palace was a medieval chapel dedicated to Our Lady of Peña until King Manuel I ordered the construction of a monastery, which was donated to the Order of Saint Jerome. The Great Lisbon Earthquake, however, severely damaged it by the 18th century. Fortunately, the chapel survived without being destroyed, which surprised Portugal's king, Ferdinand II. The king then decided to purchase the monastery and its surroundings in order to construct what is now known as the Grand Peña Palace. The castle was built with the intention of serving as the king's summer residence. However, after his death, the palace passed to his second wife, Elisa Hensler, Countess of Edla, who later sold it to King Louis. So, as of today, the palace is divided into two wings, one built over the former monastery and one built over the new monastery, and is surrounded by storybook watchtowers, battlements and even a drawbridge. When Peña became the royal summer residence, 14 monk cells were enlarged and vaulted ceilings were added. It was purchased by the Portuguese state in 1889 and later designated as a national monument and converted into a museum. The Peña Palace is home to a diverse range of styles, many of which harken back to the exotic tastes of Romanticism. It contains a mixture of architectural styles such as Neo-Gothic, Neo-Manuelan, Neo-Romanesque and other Oriental styles such as Neo-Moorish and Indigo-Gothic, the majority of which have become prominent since the major renovation in the 1840s. That is what gives the palace its dreamy, fairy tale like atmosphere. The red and yellow facade, a curving grand stone staircase, manual-line cloister, mythological creatures, domes and turrets lend an almost magical feel to the castle. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic? Inside the Peña Palace, you will pass through various staterooms that served as the royal family's summer residence. Among the notable features are a royal dining room, the noble room, bedrooms and a chapel. You will also see the bath, which includes a bathtub. And the kitchen at the Peña Palace is enormous. There is also a Peña Palace miniature model that you can touch, feel and explore, making it an excellent family activity in Portugal. The rooms are all beautifully decorated with stucco art. Trompe-l'oeil art technique is prominently displayed. And it is clear that the artists have experimented and played with their ideas here. Each room is distinct and worth seeing. The biggest disadvantage is that you are not permitted to take photographs inside the palace rooms. The interior leads to the Queen's Terrace, which is located on the upper floor and overlooks Peña Park and the palace's entrance gate. Because of the spectacular view, many tourists stop here for selfies. Outside, some features are reminiscent of other monuments in Portugal, such as the Spiked Gateway, which is reminiscent of the Casa dos Biscos and Belém Tower in Lisbon, and a window that was clearly inspired by an iconic one in the Castle Convent of Tamar. The colorful terraces of Peña Palace are perhaps its most appealing feature. They are also excellent photo opportunities. The Queen's Terrace, which is also the highest terrace in the building, is one of the most beautiful. From here, you can see the rest of the palace and the valley. The Queen's Terrace is inaccessible without a palace and park ticket. The back terrace, with its beautiful yellow arches, is a popular Instagram location. It is accessible via a massive gate guarded by the mythical Triton and offers a stunning panoramic view of the Sintra Valley below. You can also walk around the red palace walls from here to get a good view of the Moorish castle below. Last but not least is the terrace to which the Peña Palace restaurant opens. This is an excellent location for viewing the Queen's Terrace and the Clock Tower, posed beneath some of the yellow onion domes. Many aspects of the convent were well preserved, including the cloister, dining hall, sacristy and manual line Renaissance chapel. 
Everything was later relocated to the palace's new section, which included a wide and a clock tower. The Queen's Terrace was undoubtedly the highlight, as it displayed a sundial cannon that used to fire daily at noon. The clock tower was finished later that year, in 1843. The Peña Park is a large forested area that surrounds the palace and spans 200 hectares. The park is filled with walking paths, secret paths, pavilions, lakes, ponds and exotic trees designed on King Ferdinand's orders, which is where the exotic flavor comes from. The park of Peña Palace is 200 hectares in size and was built at the same time as the castle by King Ferdinand II. The king was helped in the creation of the exotic park by Baron von Eschwege and Baron von Kessler. The Peña Palace will be surrounded by rich imported trees and plants from all over the world, filling the park with luxurious natural beauty. The Peña Palace Park is located directly outside the castle. The palace is located approximately 4 kilometers from the Sintra National Palace and is easily accessible by bus, train and car. You can also take the tram that will take you directly to the Moorish Castle and Peña Palace. Due to safety concerns following the lockdown, it is recommended that you purchase your tickets online before arriving at the venue. To avoid overcrowding at the venue, arrive as early as possible. Avoid sightseeing between 11 am and 3 pm during the peak season. The large statue of King Fernando II, located about a half mile from the palace on a granite outcrop of rocks, is one of the park's most prominent displays. Except for the iron spear, the entire statue is made of stone. The Queen's Fern Valley, which adjoins the Camellia Garden, is home to a variety of tree ferns, the majority of which were imported from Australia and New Zealand. Visit the large green gardens to become immersed in the vast exotic collection. Witness the breathtaking view from Peña Palace's park as you look down from its highest point on the south. A height of 529 meters would take about 30 minutes to reach. As you make your way to the east of the park, you can also enjoy the deep lakes and a variety of fish and ducks. Chalet, the Condesa Dedla, also known as the House of Indulgence, is a small chalet located on the west end of Peña Park that was built between 1864 and 1869 for King Ferdinand II and his second wife, opera singer Elise Hensler, the future Countess of Edla. Though less visited, the Alpine-inspired summer getaway cottage remains one of the park's most fascinating sights. The Cruz Alta, located 529 meters above sea level, is the park's highest peak. It provides one of the best panoramic views of the countryside as well as a postcard-worthy view of the Peña Palace. The current cross has been replaced by a 16th-century cross installed by King João III. It has a hexagonal footprint and is a neo-Moorish pavilion. The structure's top is covered in the shape of a dome with Arabic inscriptions. As you enter, you'll notice a clear water fountain. According to records, the pavilion was designed by Baron von Eschwege and built in 1840 by Master Joao Henrique. No doubt the palace is a must-visit. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Would you like to visit the Peña Palace? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.